Hey guys, what's up? It is Brandy Chanel, and if you're new to my channel, here on this channel, we talk about everything from hair to makeup to fashion <laughs> to you to pretty much all things beauty, lifestyle, and everyday living. So if you haven't already, don't forget to press, 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 press that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit the notification. <laughs> gang, gang. All right, let's get on with the subject matter at hand. All right guys, so I wanna keep this one really quick. I wanna to talk to you guys today about the Dashing Diva Magic Press Nails and the Pattern Midas Touch. I've been wearing these for about a week and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I apply them. I wanna give you guys a couple of quick tips. I highly suggest um, using a an additional glue if you wanna keep these on for more than a day because I've, I've found that they only last maybe a day or a couple of hours with just the adhesive alone. I have a couple of other videos on these. They lasted a little bit longer than these particular ones, but I will leave links to other nail videos in the iCard above, but let's hop into these. All right guys, so here is an up close and personal look at these Dashing Diva Magic Press medium length nails with the glitter at the top. It's kind of a teal, giving me Tiffany's vibe. The particular pattern is called Midas Touch. Here are my nails with nothing on them. And now I'm gonna show you kind of my process of how I apply these nails. I open up the package and I kind of pick out and try to find the nail that matches my fingertip size as well as goes over my natural nail so it looks like it's coming from my cuticle, <laughs> which we all know it's not, but whatever. So I kind of lay them all out here. As you can see, voila. Uh, I have them from thumb to pinky and then I go in with the prep pad kind of kit where it comes with a cuticle pusher, a nail file, and a fingernail kind of dehydrator cleaner wipe i go in wipe every single nail and i will go in and press the cuticles back as well as i will file the top of each nail so that the adhesive can kind of stick to um, something which is how i get them on also i highly 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 recommend that you use an additional glue because just this particular midas touch these did not last as long as other dashing diva press on nails that I've had so I'm not sure I would recommend this particular one but the other ones I have I love this is my favorite glue this is the kiss maximum speed I use this for all press-ons and they keep them on for at minimum seven days and when you use an additional glue uh, make sure that you kind of press from side to side to make sure that the glue is adhering to your nail and uh, voila here are all the nails um, I actually do, I didn't really particularly care for the shape of these, the squares, so I kind of made them more of an almond shape and that's just how I like it. Alright guys, so here are the final nails. My suggestion again would be to use a glue for these if you want them to last for the full seven days. I've actually got more into using gel nails than my press-ons, but this brand along with the... Um, Kiss press-ons are my favorite brands of press-on nails. So if you guys see these in stores, definitely check them out. If you guys have any questions, leave comments below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!